Iran has plans to equip the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps with light and semi-heavy domestically developed submarines, head of the Marine Industries Organization of the Ministry of Defense and Logistics of the Armed Forces Rear Admiral Amir Rastagari said on Monday, according to Erna. Speaking to Erna, Rastagari said that the manufacturing of these submarines will begin this year so that the IRGC will have submarines within the next few years, as like as the Iranian Navy. He said that the reliance of the Iranian armed forces on the foreign countries in the marine industry has declined from 70% to 20% today. The Marine Industries Organization manufactures different vessels for the Navy, IRGC and the Coast Guard Police, the official said. He said that the organization, for instance, makes rapid boats for the IRGC naval force which highly relies on rapid boats. Rastagari noted that, in order to be able to protect the country's interests at the sea, one country will need to develop powerful naval forces. He said that the IRGC is responsible for protecting the Persian Gulf waters up to the Strait of Hormuz, and the Iranian Navy is responsible for protecting eastern parts of the Strait of Hormuz to the Sea of Oman and the north of the Indian Ocean, while the Coast Guard police protects the territorial waters. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is a branch of the Iranian Armed Forces, founded after the Iranian Revolution on 22 April 1979 by order of Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. Whereas the Iranian army defends Iranian borders and maintains internal order, according to the Iranian constitution, the Revolutionary Guard is intended to protect the country's Islamic Republic political system. The Revolutionary Guards base their role in protecting the Islamic system as well as preventing foreign interference and coups by the military or deviant movements Iran has traditionally relied on submarine imports from Russia, China, and North Korea. Its most advanced are the three Tarek-class diesel-electric submarines, Cold War era Kilo-class submarines imported from Russia. However, these vessels weren't seen for a while at sea. Iran makes its own submarines, the semi-heavy, diesel-electric Besset-class submarine, of which one has so far been produced. Iran has also built its own smaller vessels, such as the Fata-class diesel-electric coastal submarines, Nahang-class mini-submarines and Gadar-class mini-submarines. The Persian Gulf, as well as the Gulf of Oman, have been an arena of multiple incidents and attacks on commercial ships, including oil tankers, in recent years. Any naval expansion in the Persian Gulf risks more encounters with American vessels, which routinely operate in the waterway. The Gulf carries great strategic importance, with some 25% of the world's crude oil traveling through the 30-mile-wide Hormuz Strait. The Iranian Navy plays a crucial strategic role in Iran's national security architecture due to the country's dependence on the Persian Gulf for trade and security. Its naval forces also operate in the Gulf of Oman, the Caspian Sea, and the Indian Ocean. The two branches of Iran's navy, the Islamic Republic of Iran Navy and the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps Navy, command a vast submarine force of around 34 vessels. The Islamic Republic of Iran Navy, Iran, developed from the Shah's Imperial Iranian Navy. The Shah's Navy existed prior to the 1979 revolution and was designed to demonstrate the power and prestige of the Shah's Iran. Currently, Rear Admiral Hossein Kanzadi commands the Iran. For the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps Navy, IRGCN, was established in 1985 during the Iran-Iraq War. Currently, Rear Admiral Alariza Tingsiri commands the IRGCN. From 1992 to 1996, Iran commissioned the three Kilo class, called Tarek class in Iran, diesel electric submarines from Russia. Iran reportedly paid United States dollars 600 million for each boat. The vessels are all currently based at Bandar Abbas in the Strait of Hormuz, where two of the submarines are operational at any time. These submarines are occasionally deployed in the eastern mouth of the strait, 
the Gulf of Oman, and the Arabian Sea. Their utility in the Persian Gulf is, however, somewhat limited as Kilo-class boats require a depth of at least 164 feet and can therefore only access about one-third of the Gulf. Unique water conditions in the Gulf such as water salinity and strong currents further limit the boat's operational use unless the submarines are deployed to deeper waters in the Gulf of Oman or the Arabian Sea. The Iron controls the Kilo-class boats. In 2007, Iran began deployments of small gatter class and Ahang class mini submarines for use in shallow coastal waters. Reports on the number of operating gatter class submarines range from 10 to 21, but in 2017, the US Office of Naval Intelligence estimated that Iran possessed 14 of such submarines. Iran also reportedly operates one Ahang class submarine, which became operational in 2007. The operational capabilities of these vessels include firing torpedoes, both the Gatter and the Nahang class have two 533mm tubes, laying mines for anti-shipping operations, and deploying of special forces into enemy territory. The mini-submarines are operated by both the Iron and IRGCN. Iran is actively expanding and modernizing its submarine fleet. Originally, none of Iran's submarines were capable of firing ballistic or cruise missiles. Starting in the 1990s, Iran launched a program to acquire or domestically produce mines and torpedoes for all its subsurface boats. In 2005 it reportedly launched two local production lines of 533mm and 324mm wake homing torpedoes with ranges of up to 20 km. Iran has since developed ballistic and cruise missile technology for its submarines. On 24 February 2019, Iran successfully test-fired a cruise missile from one of its Gatter-class vessels. The Islamic Republic news agency claims the Tarek and the Fatah submarines have the same capability. In June 2012, an Iranian official asserted that scientists were in the initial phases of manufacturing atomic submarines. They claimed Iran's success in retrofitting one of the imported Kilo-class submarines was evidence of the country's advancing submarine development capability despite delays. In September 2017, Iran's naval command said that the country's nuclear agency was beginning to produce nuclear reactors for fueling and propulsion systems. However, many analysts assert that manufacturing a nuclear reactor for submarine use is beyond Iran's current capabilities and is simply a response to increased U.S. sanctions after the U.S. withdrawal from the JPCOA. Iran is also experimenting with wet submersibles. The Sabahit 15 GPS-equipped two-seat submersible swimmer delivery vehicle, SDV, designed by the Esfahan Underwater Research Center, has undergone testing with both the IRON and the IRGCN. Due to their limited endurance and payload, SDVs are primarily used for mining, reconnaissance, and special operations in coastal waters. Iran is reportedly developing naval facilities at Cha Behar in the deeper waters of the Gulf of Oman in order to relocate its submarines from the shallow waters of Bandar Abbas.